Okay guys, we just unloaded our second load of the day. Definitely made it today. And we got loaded right away in Creston. So just empty a couple kilometers. And now we're headed to OK Falls. I'm not gonna make it to OK Falls, but it'll be close. So pretty, pretty much got, maybe we're about an hour, two hours short of an extra load in. So that's, that's kind of nice. I don't mind extra money. And uh, because we started so early today, I called uh, the customer in OK Falls and he says I can unload at seven in the morning. So even if I'm two hours short, I can start going at I think 5.30, give or take. So I'll, I'll be there at least by 7.30. I'm, I th I'm thinking I'll be there by 7, but we'll see. So we might be able to unload first thing in the morning and then see where we're off to again. So we're just leaving Creston now, westbound, back into the Kootenays, and it's been kind of raining slash snowing the whole time and it's starting to look like it's snowing even more up on uh, as we go up the mountain here so and it's raining harder down here so we'll see if, if also I have to chain up well then then I'll definitely not make it uh, let's get some of that smeary stuff off by adding a little washer fluid Looks like I'll have to leave them on. Let it rain, let it rain, let it rain. Unfortunately, it's snow up top and that gets slippery. Um, coming over this way was no problem at all. They were just like the pulse in a couple little sections that were a little bit slick. But I put the diff lockers on and rode right through it, no problem. So I, I'll for sure get over the Kootenays and over the Paulson, well, Kootenays, Bombies, Paulson. I think I should get over the Anarchist tonight. And that way, if it does start getting really cold tonight, I, hopefully I've put that behind me. Of course, very likely tomorrow we're just turning around and coming back this way again. So I'm just putting off the inevitable, right? But hey, extra load in, I'm happy. 80. Okay, why is the inside corner 80 and the outside corner 70? I'm pretty sure it's 70. I'm gonna look at my mirror here. Doesn't make sense. Shouldn't the inside corner be slower than the outside corner? There's the sign. I'll look in the mirror. Yep, that says 70. So that doesn't make sense to me. The inside would be a sharper corner, so shouldn't the inside be 70 and the outside be 80? I don't know. It's raining pretty good. Cars pulling off to the side. Okay. Says the uh, Kootenay Pass is still open, or as they call it, the Salmo Creston. Here it says Kootenay Pass, elevation 1774. Uh, the place I loaded here in Creston, they have a scale on the yard and they scale you while you're getting loaded. So I am loaded right to my maximum legal limit. 
they make sure that they you don't leave without full load which makes sense they have to pay per trip right so it is a fat fat load we're gonna gonna be a little slower over the passes but Roads are pretty wet here. Keep a close eye on the temperature. I also stopped in uh, Salmo and grabbed a box of washer fluids so I only had one jug left and I like to keep at least four jugs in the truck so I got five jugs right now soon I'll be asking for the pink summer stuff bug wash actually if they had the pink stuff I'd grab it now and then mix it 50-50 Half winter, half bug. And in the summer, if you're desperate, you can just put it in water too. It's not gonna get any of the bugs off, but water's better than nothing. And turn our four-way flashes on because we've dropped the speed way down. Nobody anywhere near us, behind us, but when you're driving this slow, they can catch up pretty quick. beautiful when the mountains are cloudy misty like that see all the layers of mountains yeah there's not much to see on this part of the highway because the forest kind of closes you in so I don't really do videos here very often because of that not much to see Smith. When I was first looking for jobs, I applied to work there. They're based out of, out of Penticton, so that would have been nice, but they were not hiring anyone except for owner operators. And I don't have the money for my own truck. Not yet. I'd like to buy a house first. Well guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Sun setting later and later in the day, so there's more opportunities to videotape now than there was in the winter, so that's kind of nice. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm getting hungry. I mean, I ate lunch pretty early because we started so early. I'll have to grab myself some lunch up here at the brake check. Do a brake check and then grab some lunch after I do the brake check. I think I'll do that. Of course, it's going to be another. 45 minutes till I get to the top, so I guess I'll have to go hungry for 45 minutes. Hit that thumbs up if you guys enjoyed. We'll see you.